Hi guys, Nicole here from O1 Coffee Roastery. Today I want to walk you through how you can make our Tokyo Drip V60 at home. So the first thing that you'll need obviously is ground coffee. So if you don't have the privilege of having a coffee grinder at home, you can have your local roastery or cafe or even us to grind your freshly roasted coffee for you. Today I'm going to be using 20 grams of our Bali Kintamani coffee. Um, 20 might seem a little a bit extra but I'm using 20 because this is roasted maybe about a month ago and I want to try and elimin eliminate the aged flavors out of my brew. So I have ground them a little extra coarse and going to extract it a little bit quicker so it cuts out all the aged flavors. Second thing you'll need is a filter paper. So I'm going to fold the edge at the seam of the filter paper. Then of course we'll need a V60 dripper. We like to use a corner dripper because it doesn't have the grooves all the way to the top, which means it gives us an airtight um, between the paper and the filter itself and it will eliminate any air coming through. And then you need a server and of course a pot. Thermometer, preferably to measure your water at 90 degrees. So we'll get right into it. Also, if you don't have a scale at home, I'm go doing this today without a scale. The grand coffees, you'll need about two and a half tablespoons. And water. Direction of the lines and also over here. I'm going to try and aim for about 200 to 250 extraction. So dump the coffee in the top, you want to flatten the base, have a nice and flat, even coffee bed. So, what I'm going to try and aim to do is pour the water directly into the center, go clockwise all the way around to the outside, trying not to touch the paper, and then just continue my way to work inside back into the center and then that'll be my fast pour. So, let's give it a go. I'm gonna go all the way around to the outside, back into the center, finish in the middle. So it's roughly, very roughly, gonna be about 35 to 40 grams of coffee. You kinda wanna double the amount of coffee used. And wait about 30 seconds for the fast pre-infusion uh, a good indicator is to just see the bloom and when it stops glistening when it stops becoming really shiny then you can go in for the second pour again straight in the middle this time I'm going to do small circles just in the center and I'm going to repeat that process until I get the whole extraction so the reason why I'm only going into the middle because I'm trying to use the force of the, uh, of the hot water spinning to the edges and evenly brewing our coffee. I may not be doing such a great job today, but you want to have a really gentle, thin line of flow, spinning it around, little circles, maybe yay big. Keep going until I pass the line on my server where it indicates for one cup of coffee. Now if you're brewing two cups of coffee, I would use maybe an extra 10 grams. So I wouldn't double up the ground. It's just not that necessary. And I also don't pre-wet the paper because I find that it kind of loses the body. Wetting the paper can give you a cleaner taste of the brew, but also don't personally find that it gives a papery taste. And by not wetting the paper, I believe I can get away with using less coffee. Almost done. I'm going to stop the extraction before it goes the way through. 
have our fruit coffee. Pour it into your preferred cup. Cheers. Cheers. Tokyo drip, V60 at home. Bye guys.